foundation is a really good kind of intermediate stage between A levels and university. Because um, in my own A levels, I pretty much just worked the one medium, which was kind of oral painting, and I felt that the kind of I didn't have as much freedom as I have here. I think at the start of this year, I would ever expect to do the things that I've done in this course. They've been, yeah, they've been really challenging, but it's been fun along the way. The tutors are very helpful. You've got four tutors, basically, so you have a wide range of opinions about your work. dedicated towards you as well. I mean, they're always there when you need to ask them questions. They're always going around and asking you how you're doing, uh, when you work, and suggesting improvements. I mean, you get a lot of tutor time. So you can basically get loads of ideas from them, pick and choose which one you like the best, and then work from that, or have a combination of them all. I really enjoyed making um, a surface pattern because we got given a word out of an envelope. Um, mine was a grouse and we just had to get images of it and do spontaneous drawings and then put them into a repeat pattern and then we got to silk screen print with it. So it's just a new thing that happened. Um, three, uh, four, 18 year olds um, as well. So. The course has prepared me really well for uni um, in kind of opening me up and finding out what I'm about. I think I've found a lot more that I'm able to express myself um, when compared to kind of fine art A level, it's very kind of prescriptive. Kind of, it's all about aesthetics really but I think in this course there's a lot of experimentation and you can just be more free with your expression and really do and get into what you want to it really helps. It kind of really develops the way that you work and that's perfect for going into university because you kind of know what to do when you're given a brief or you're given an idea for a piece of art. The other kind of advantage of foundation is you can get to know loads of different practices within the arts and narrow down what you might want to do at university, whereas um, in A level you maybe won't have much of an idea of kind of how vast art is and what you want to kind of narrow your practice down to. The main advice I'd probably give someone is just be really ambitious um, with what you're doing, be really passionate about it and also be open to kind of new forms of art and new practices because there'll be a lot of kind of exercises where you'll be asked to do something that you maybe haven't done before but I just think you have to kind of have an open mind on those first few kind of uh, weeks of foundation and you'll really get to enjoy it after that and understand why they're making you do all this experimentation and all these different things. And you'll really, you know, you'll really enjoy it by the end and get to grasp with it and understand how it's helped you develop. What's... <laughs> <laughs> Bye.